My name is Cynthia Mitchell, and I am the Deputy Chief of the Public Affairs Office for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Baltimore District. Soy Latina y mi familia es de México. The morning of March 26, when the Key Bridge collapsed into the Patasco River, began a very busy time period for our office. My primary responsibility is media relations, and as early as six o'clock that morning, I began receiving calls, particularly from local media, requesting information regarding the Army Corps of Engineers' role. The Baltimore District has primary responsibility for the maintenance of the Fort McHenry Channel, and it was during a trip to Fort Armistead due to this primary mission that I eventually passed by the memorial that had been set up for the individuals who were missing. Being able to see the artwork up close and speak to individuals who were there setting up for a vigil, I was able to have a conversation with an individual who was a friend of one of the missing. He expressed this general concern that salvage operations were taking place but that they had been forgotten. Not at all had those individuals been forgotten. In fact, our salvage operations were bringing us closer to reuniting these individuals with their family members once again. And I understood that there was a need to be able to express that effort and that sentiment in Spanish. Baltimore District Commander Esti Chasen and I sat down and discussed a little bit and she very quickly made me aware that one of our battle captains was fluent in Spanish. I'm Captain Victor Valentin Torres. Uh, I work for the Army Corps of Engineer, uh, Baltimore District um, Capital Area Office down in Fort Belvoir, and I'm a project engineer. Also, soy Latino, y mi familia es de Puerto Rico. Initially, I was working as a, as a, as a battle captain uh, in the Unified Command, um, and I received an email uh, by Cynthia um, asking me my uh, availability um, of conducting uh, media engagements with different uh, uh, local and national networks. And that first time in camera, my, my main focus was to uh, inform uh, the, the Latino community of Baltimore. Estamos haciendo todo lo que podemos hacer en nuestro poder para tratar de recuperar a estos hermanos hispanos que lamentablemente fallecieron en este incidente. Y quiero recalcar que eh, el equipo que tenemos aquí en Baltimore es el mejor equipo. They were uh, um, on an information blackout in terms of what was going on uh, with the efforts to recover their family members or, or for the general public of what was going on with the port. Uh, because obviously this was affecting a lot of jobs, so people needed to go back to work. Uh, and the Latino community wasn't, wasn't an exception. This year's Hispanic Heritage theme is Pioneers of Change. As a person who speaks two languages, I often tell my own daughter that being bilingual is a superpower. And this is something that I continue to remind myself as we began paving our way through Spanish communications during this effort. For me, this uh, experience, uh, particularly uh, with my 15 years of, of career, it was one of the first time um, I used my heritage and my language to actually assist the, 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 the general public um, on, on, on real efforts uh, that the Corps of Engineers uh, was leading to recovering the, the, the people that were missing. I love what I do. I love being able to shine a light on the important work that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers does, as well as all of the individuals that work for this organization. And that is regardless of whether the message is in English or in Espanol.